She began to draw very early, at the age of one, maybe even earlier. The Petrukivka painting has the feature that it is painted using cats, brushes made of cat fur. She works very calmly, it's so pleasant. She is the youngest master of the Petrukivka painting and the winner of many national and international art and literary contests. The young artist with a special outlook on the world around her and with a love of nature and animals, 14-year-old Alisa Herman, will tell us about the details of the technique with which she does her work and about what inspires her. She began to draw very early, she was about a year old. Maybe even earlier, because as soon as pencils and paints appeared, she took a piece of paper, immediately laid her stomach on the floor, as children do, and drew all the time. Alisa drew animals mostly. They are her favorite characters in the paintings, even now. Seeing such a craving for creativity, the girl's parents decided to take her to art school. But by chance, Alisa got into Petrukivka painting classes at the age of six. In fact, she didn't like it very much, because there are lots of people there. Everything is difficult, especially for a small child. This technique is decorative. She needed perseverance to repeat the same details. But when she came home, she would sit down and draw very interesting works using Petrukivka painting. And I understood that she had to continue going to these classes for development. Petrukivka painting is Ukrainian decorative and pattern folk painting, which was born in the village of Petrukivka, Dnipropetrovsk region. It gave the name of this form of art itself. The Petrukivka painting was included in the UNESCO list of cultural heritage in 2013. Petrukivka is a variety of floral patterns and bright colors. It's interesting that Alisa dreams up entire stories and doesn't merely redraw existing works. I paint using this method, but not by painting itself. Petrukivka is mainly about flowers, berries and that's all. That is, they redraw one from the other, and I invent my own plots. I just use the technique. Alisa is inspired by stories that happened to her family, friends and her beloved cat Fila. With her works, the girl expresses her love of nature and animals, sometimes even having to go out into what are called the fields, so as to feel the atmosphere and express it on canvas. We explored all the swamps around, so that you could see how to do it more beautifully, how to draw it more correctly, to take a photo later at an exhibition on a poster. In addition to what she paints, we're still trying to find places for her to see, so that it would not be dreamt up, but so that it was connected with some place, with certain memories. The heroes of Alisa's paintings and fairy tales were beavers, hares, cats. The cat Fila, for example, not only became a prototype on many occasions, but also helped with creating brushes. The Petrukivka painting has one special feature. They draw with cats, brushes made out of cat fur. I have a cat, and there is a special reason why his fur is shirt, and this is suitable for brushes. We just need the cat to sleep. He doesn't see it all happening. He sleeps on his back with his belly sticking up, and we take scissors, sometimes me, sometimes mom, and cut his fur. And then we pull out such long hairs and tie them to a stick.
The CV of the Young Artist has already 21 personal exhibitions, participation and victories in literary contests, written and published children's books with her own illustrations, and an all-Ukrainian record. At the age of just 10, Alyssa presented an exhibition, where 45 works in the style of Petrokivka painting were displayed. Then she received the title of the youngest artist working in the Petrokivka technique. She worked for a very long time on it, trained, because in a short time, in just a few months, she had to draw the most amount of work. And since the Petrokivka painting was not done quickly, she worked almost every day. She came home from school, sat down and started drawing more and more. First of all, it takes a very long time to draw. It is very delicate. If you make a mistake somewhere, then it does not look very nice. And it is such a very subtle technique. It takes a long time to do. Sometimes I did not have enough time, because sometimes I might not do my school homework. Better to complete the drawing. Several years ago, Alisa met Olena Skitsuk a famous Ukrainian artist, a master of Petrokivka painting and member of the National Union of Artists of Ukraine. Today Alisa is working with Elena in her workshop. When after a year and a half of painting, we talked this way for quite a long time and had worked out things, obviously it was nice to see that she was thinking in a certain way. Было приятно видеть, что она очень, как бы сказать, интересно мыслить. First of all, she likes it. Что ей это нравится в первую очередь, потому что Петриковка. Because Petrukovka is valuable now. It's very fashionable. As is the style of this painting. Это роспись, но. But few understand and really love it. Many people simply make money from it. Ею просто зарабатывают. And although her technique still needs to be honed and sharpened, Alisa's presentation and her personal vision are interesting. She uses this technique in her own way. She works in a more monumental way. Her vision is more ambitious, and the combination of these animals, which she animates with the Petrokivka design pattern, I think is such an interesting move. It was thanks to this meeting that Alisa was able to take part in another interesting and serious project. Together with Elena Skitsuk and other artists, Alisa took part in the restoration of murals at the Kaska, or fairy tale toy store in Kiev, a cult place from the 1980s and 1990s. In 1979, Olena Skitsuk herself and her parents, famous Ukrainian artists Ivan Skitsuk and Marfa Timchenko, painted the walls. When we started working at the toy store, we then had the opportunity to show Petrikivka, to raise it somewhat to another level, to show the possibilities of this painting in image, in subject compositions, which the Petrikivkaites themselves don't do, with rare exceptions. And Alisa seemed to go this way too. And I see great potential in her work. I helped and watched there a little. I studied. The restoration of wall paintings on the subjects of about 50 fairy tales took place, and one wall was restored. The room was renovated in the early 2000s and the unique painting was covered with drywall. And almost 15 years later, the artist managed to gain access to a small part of it. Alisa even wrote a scientific work. The subject of the work was destroyed masterpieces of Petrukivka painting at the Kaska shop in Kiev, successfully defended it, won second place among 8th and 9th grades in the defense of art history in the Minor Academy of Sciences, and then she presented a report at the Taras Shevchenko Central Library. Alisa plans to continue to take part in scientific conferences, conduct master classes on Petrukivka painting, and to popularize this national art. 
This is a cultural trend. This is our cultural code, which needs to be promoted, popularized, and now Alisa is doing it. The Easter Egg Festival, which takes place in Kyiv on Sofia Square, has been known for almost 10 years, not only throughout Ukraine, but also far beyond its borders. Huge Easter eggs, painted by both professional artists and amateurs of different ages, show national art to visitors. Alisa also managed to take part in the festival and get interest in experience. After viewing Alisa's work, the organizers offered her the chance to participate. And they told us, come and take the egg. And when I arrived at the Easter egg warehouse with my girlfriend, we did not know how to put this huge Easter egg into the car. Because I had to fold the seat and lay this egg. We brought it home. Thank God it squeezed through the door. It was made from such... It was light but big. Weighed about one and a half kilos. I have never painted on such large eggs. And it was of course difficult, but very interesting. Such an egg stood in the middle of the room. Alisa created a story with hairs, and her work was one of the most popular in the square. And when we went to see, we observed from the side which eggs were examined for a long time, and were so pleased that a lot of people took photos with Alisa's egg. And although Alisa's participation in the festival was not easy, Alisa created a large-scale work in just six weeks, she always welcomes any experience. Drawing occupies a lot of time in the life of this girl. It can be very difficult to sit in one position for a few hours. But Alisa has another favorite activity that helps her to relax and keep in good physical shape – swimming. The doctor sent us to swim, because at the age of one and a half months, she was hypertonic, like all little kids. And she says, well, my friends, go for a swim. First it was baby swimming, then from the age of five months we went to a pool, where babies were allowed to swim with their mothers, and at four she swam in a standard swimming pool. Our coach said, I have never worked with such little ones, but I think that they don't reach the bottom of the small pool, and they don't reach it in the large one, so the only problem is cold. So we ran out every 15 minutes, drank tea, warmed in the shower, and then got back into the water again. Today, Alisa has got to third adult swimming level and has big plans to conquer water. She's like that. She has a very calm character. And in training, she's a very careful and very meticulous child. Though in training, she's smooth and calm. When competing, she has a real sporting character. She's very good at focusing and shows her best at competitions. She's a real fighter, an athlete. When Alisa was just under 15, she had already decided on her profession, and she did this several years ago. I want to be an illustrator, but I must first learn various artistic techniques. So we decided that she will enroll in the Academy of Art, because to become a cool illustrator, you need to be able to draw brilliantly. And you must know all these laws, because there's no way of succeeding without knowledge. Daring and talented, courageous and restless, independent and happy. They are our future. They're the future of Ukraine.